Hi guys, it's Vanessa. I'm doing a look today. I'm already wearing it. I have to apologize, even though a friend of mine told me to stop apologizing for lighting in my video. Um, I normally rely on waking up early on the weekend, so I have the natural light from um, my window coming in. And it's the rainiest day. It might as well be like 7 o'clock at night. So I'm sorry guys, but um, the look I did today was suggested by my sister Amber, her and her co-worker Emily supposedly watched my videos, so thanks guys, and um, they wanted me to do a look that was like everyday wearable for the everyday girl, so this is like a look you could wear to work, I don't know if you're going to wear um, star shaped gold knockers to work, that's a personal call that you make my friend, but this look, this is how it looks and I'll of course take pictures, it's just a very soft brown look. And um, I'm gonna so have a good one and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the demo. Bye. We are going to begin with a soft ochre paint pot. This one um, can be substituted for anyone you like, bear study or just anything neutral because that's the look we're going for. I'm just gonna apply that all over the lid. Smooth it out. Next we're going to grab an eyeshadow brush. I always use this size so you'll know. And then we are going to take Shroom, which is this color right here. And we're going to apply that all over the lid. And actually I changed my mind. We're going to use a bigger, fluffier brush. Because since we're putting it all over the lid, this will make it go faster. And seems like the perfect color because it's um it's got a little shimmer to it but it's pretty um and neutral and subtle since it's i believe a satin it's not like crazy frosty or anything okay next we are going to take saddle which is that color right there and it's just like a medium brown and um, when I go to MAC, they always sell me on saddle, and I think everyone should own saddle. It's not just for new twerk. And take a step back, just make sure everything's even. Just a little bit more. There you go. Then you're going to take with the tapered side, you are going to take this color right here. This one's mulch. It's just a deep brown sparkly. But it doesn't have too much sparkle. It's a great brown. And we're going to put that in the outer corners. And not too dark because this is a daytime look. It's just to define it a little bit more. We're going to smoke that out. Okay. about the lighting I will take pictures next we are going to take 
grand entrance, which is this color right here, comparable to Stila's Kitten if you have that. And we're just going to um, make the highlight pop. You could just leave it with the Shroom. Shroom is a very popular highlight, but I just like it to have a little more depth. So that goes right here. I think it just really helps that eye out. And then you're going to take a medium brown um, eyeliner. I'm using Cougar Brown from Jordana. I know I'm not a cougar. <laughs> not yet at least. And then you're just going to line the upper lash line. And then we're also going to line the water line. And this color won't show up too much in the waterline. It'll just give you a little subtle hint. Like that. Next, we're going to take a brown mascara. I'm using L'Oreal's um, Bare Natural Mascara. I really like this mascara. I, I say it gives you everyday natural drama. Like, it's not like, whoa, mascara. So, it's really good to wear in the day. I'm just going to apply that. MA once told me to apply your mascara looking down because apparently it helps you get your um, lashes all the way from the root. And I have a rule of thumb that you never put mascara on your lower lash lines for a daytime look. So, no need for that. Next, we're moving on to cheeks. We are going to use this color looks really bright and you're thinking like why would you wear this for day and this is actually very comparable to max dolly mix this is an avon color called bikini i don't think they make it anymore um i'm going to use my 187 knockoff because um i think this is really good for light application but you basically want like a hot pink um blush although they look scary when applied with a light hand they just give you a very natural flush look so we're going to smile and apply. It really is just very like natural and subtle. You could go for something like um, with more warmth to it. That would obviously look really good because we're already doing warm color. So like a sun mask, something like that. But I just think this is much more like natural and fresh. I think I have more on one than the other. Sorry. There you go. And lastly, we will do our lips. You're going to take, I'm using, this is Willow by Wet n Wild, but it's basically like a medium, light brown, but like with a little bit of pinkiness to it. And you're going to line and fill your lips. When you feel your lips, it's okay to be a little haphazard because we're going to put like a lipstick on top of this and then that'll help it spread. Cause another thing that makes this easier is if you do a chapstick beforehand. Kind of get it on. Next, we're going to take Max Slim Shine in Bare. It's just a very, again, a neutral color that has like a little bit of pink to it. I guess I would describe it as like a tawny neutral. I'm really bad with color description. Put that right on top. And there you have it. A super easy look. Let me try to get all up in your face so you can see. A super easy look. You can wear to work. I'll of course take pictures because I'm so sorry about the look. But yeah, it doesn't take that much at all. Um, I think it's a pretty quick look to do. And it looks really good and it's super easy to... Um, Smoke it up for night.